Hey there. I just thought I would uh, record a short video showing that uh, I finished the Vex Robotics off-road truck, Hex Bug. Uh, it's a really cool looking model. <clears throat> As I mentioned uh, in my previous video, my unboxing, there are some tricky parts to the build. Um, definitely recommend that you get the PDF uh, from online, which has the updated, improved instructions. With the PDF, you can zoom in as well, which is nice. So I show here's a here's a spot that was not particularly hard, but uh, after you build the the side panel on both sides, you have to attach it to the body and. Uh, like this is trying to say that these two holes here actually go on uh, these two pins right here. I was, I had no idea what that was trying to tell me at first. Uh, at first I was trying to put it too far forward, um, but it does go on fairly easily. Um, up here there's uh, wires that, it's hard to see where those wires are, in fact it looks like they've got them running I think actually they just don't show the wire, but well, here it is, faded out for some reason. But that I think needs to go, I put it down below, there's a, a, a beam on the back side of this, I put it below that, you could put it up above, I think that's what they're trying to say, it doesn't really matter. But uh, the hardest part at the very end was after I put both sides on and built the hood, was to get, as it shows here, there's several different pins. There's two at the front, two on each side, and two at the back. And the two at the front, on sorry, the two at the sides attach to the two side panels. And the front of this just wants to push down uh, when you push the hood onto it. So that's a little tricky there. Um, I had to fiddle a bit to get it to all put to, to go together. Uh, but it does look really cool. And here it is. So uh, you can see the body panels look really cool. The hood's very nice curves. It's got the little uh, air intake here, scoop on the hood. These specialty pieces that form the, the uh, front bumper. You can see Right here is where those two pins fit into the side panel, and this whole area wanted to push down. Uh, so I had to just kind of push it like that on both sides. And I put the wire down underneath uh, so it didn't get pinched by this 2x4 beam. Uh, you could put it up above that beam as well, kind of back behind it. Um, it's got two little red seats in the Cab, which are cool looking, and then this Vex Pilot Brain is sitting right in front. Um, this spare tire is kind of cool. It actually is what holds the the battery box in. So once you pull the spare tire out, you can pull out this the battery box to change batteries when the AA batteries go bad. So that's kind of nifty. A lot of cool designs. It might have been nice to have something right here. Maybe, hmm, I wonder if I missed. Let me check. Let's see if the box has a picture that shows the back. Eh, not really. I think I did that right. I do have a few spare pieces, so there's certainly a possibility that Maybe there's supposed to be something in between that. But yeah, you can see there's a few, a few spare parts. But I don't see anything on the build. Yeah, I think that's right. Anyway, with the electronics all connected, you can 
press that little red, that little orange button here. Turn that on. And then with a, either an Android or a iOS device of some sort, running the Vex Pilot app, you can uh, control it. Let me see if I can get that working. So, yeah, it works pretty good. You can use two thumbs. So that's pretty cool. I've got a little uh, steering adjustment here so you can kind of fine tune for straight ahead if it's not driving straight. So I've got it out of whack. That goes pretty much straight forward. They even have a uh, option here I don't I haven't tried it very much but uh, enable motion I don't know if you can see that but enable motion that makes it so that you can steer by tilting the phone thinking that would be very very tricky to do but so I'm gonna disable that certainly a lot easier to use with the thumb to do, to do the steering That's pretty cool. So I definitely think it's worth uh, checking out. Uh, leave this 
Retail price is $69.99. Uh, so you can find it at hexbug.com or at target.com or in stores at Target. Thank you.